mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And now we need to talk about the real housewife of Burberry Hills because Kathy Hilton is breaking her silence about her return to season 12 or actually season 13. So let's talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Very Ray Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to join the family, you know what to do. And let's talk about this mess. Well, I mean, this whole Kathy Hilton situation really has us thinking if she's going to come back or not. There were a lot of rumors saying that she was done with the show, that she didn't want anything to do with the show after everything that was done to her by the other ladies in Aspen. You know, uh, she is denying all the accusations from the meltdown. You know, she's saying that she never did that, that she never screamed at anyone, that she never um, called anyone names. Uh, that she uh, never called Sutton's assistant any derogatory names, which has been already officially, uh, how you say that, Corrob corroborated by Sutton uh, twice, okay? She basically let us know that Kathy Hilton did not use any derogatory terms towards um, his her assistant, okay? And she's actually in very good speaking terms with Kathy Hilton. So, you know, she's denying, denying, denying all the allegations. So it is quite important and quite, quite interesting because why Lisa Rena, Erica Jane, and Kyle, Dorit, and Kyle Richards, her own sister, not saying absolutely anything? You know, so kind of like, it kind of like surprised me to, like, to me, it's a real big deal. Like, okay, you are on a reality show and I know that you want the drama and I know that you want a storyline, but Kyle Richards, as her sister, even if Kathy did something wrong, like, I feel that she should have just say something because the allegations out there were about racism, about homophobia, about like a bunch of things that are very big right now that people got canceled for that. You know what I mean? So why Kyle is not defending Kathy Hilton, it's kind of like one of those big things that you say, damn, I mean, this is this is bad. Uh, so now, so the rumors were that Kathy Hilton was done. She doesn't want to be back in the show. She doesn't uh, understand why people will like betray her like that. And that uh, she never expect that from all the other ladies, which I mean, this is real housewife. I always say like, what was, what was she expecting? You know, and especially after asking for a race to Bravo, do you think that Bravo was going to be like, okay, we're just going to give you money because you're awesome and you are able to say hunky dory. Bitch, please. Like, of course, Bravo was going to find a way to get the drama from you. So, Kathy Hilton was interviewed uh, by, I want to say, uh, Entertainment Tonight, okay? And she had some things to say about what is coming to the next season. And apparently, she's also on non-speaking terms with one of the other ladies. So I'm going to read you this. It says, Kathy Hilton hints that things aren't hunky-dory between her and one of the real housewives of Barbary Hills co-stars. While chatting with Entertainment Tonight on Oscar Sunday, Kathy up and up about the real housewife of Barbary Hills drama coming to Bravo next month. When asked if she caused any drama during season 12, Kathy coyly reply, a little bit, a little bit, you have to wait and see. As for season 12 overall, Kathy said, I think it's going to be great. We have a great time together. And when you are spending so much time together, you are bound to have a little, a little drama. Entertainment Tonight then asked Kathy if she is on speaking terms with the Real House of Beverly Hills cast. 
and initially Kathy said yes before changing her mind and says, well, I don't know, there might be one I am not, Kathy hint. Kathy said, of course, she will be back for another season of The Real House of Beverly Hills. However, don't ever expect to see her husband Rick on the show. And she says, never, he will never, ever, she insists. So, you know, I'm thinking that PR-wise, she has been very, you know, pushed into doing more for the show. You know what I mean? I'm thinking that um, once the show is out there, they're probably going to try to bring her to the reunion. And I think she was done with the show. I think she was like, this is not my shit. I'm not going to be, you know, messing with these bitches. I don't have, I don't want anything to do with this. And then when all of this you know, allegations came out, a lot of people were actually saying, well, I do believe that Kathy Hilton is a racist. I do believe that Kathy Hilton is a homophobe. I do believe this. I do believe this, you know. So I'm thinking like PR wise, her PR people must be like, Kathy, you cannot quit the show. You need to go. You need to go to the reunion. You need to do something about this because people are going to believe that you are this person. And if you want to be portrayed somewhat someone like else you need to do something about it and that's why probably she is changing her mind now remember the rumors i did we did a whole video that apparently kathy hilton has been recommending people like crazy like every single one of her friends is going to be somehow cast uh or like you know going through the casting process for next season because she wants to have many friends on her side moving forward so i don't know if this is just a pr move i don't know if someone was like inside of her saying like oh you want to play bitch okay let's play can you imagine if they give kathy hilton a diamond and someone cross her girl i mean i'm telling you so i don't know i think it's going to be interesting you know uh i think it's the right move Every single time that we see people running around and and, and not finishing and leaving their storylines open, it always fills with all this information that we never know if it's going to be true or not. You know, it always go down to like this person said this, or you know, the rumors are this, but we never know, and they deny, deny, deny. So we never actually know if it end up being true or not. But if they really want to defend their character, if they really want to go there and say, like, hey, this is not who I am, let me show you who I really am, then they need to be present. And moving forward, because we already know that Kathy Hilton is not gonna be here for like half of the season. So, moving forward, then she will need to be there, like, the whole show. So, let's see. Let's see what is going to happen next, guys. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's going to be interesting. Who is this person that she is no longer on speaking terms, you know? Because the rumors were that Erica Jane was the one who was not speaking to Kathy Hilton. But it was because of what Kathy Hilton said to Sutton's assistant. But now Sutton's assistant already, like, you know, took that down. So it's going to be interesting to... uh, Something really bad happened, and we need to know what it was. And we need to know if it was with Erica Jane or Lisa Renna or maybe Kyle Richards. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.